Well, now it's Rugby League. Silk Cut Challenge Cup weekend. We're at the quarter-final stage. Three matches being played tomorrow. But our televised match is, of course, this afternoon. Oldham against the cup holders, Wigan. Full match highlights coming up with our commentary team of Peter Fox and Ray French, both at a very wintry Oldham. A heavy fall of snow last night caused some doubts about this match this morning, but Oldham officials, they've worked extremely hard to get this pitch fit. But of course, snow, a heavy pitch, they are the conditions for cup rugby and they are the conditions for shocks. Oldham, well, it's Tony Barrow who struggled to get the side fit. He had great difficulty, but he's got Paul Round recovered from rib cartilage damage in the second row. And welcome back to Gary Hyde after knee ligament trouble. But a lot will depend on the work rate of that pack if they're to stop the Wigan Cup favourites. And Wigan coach Graham Lowe, he too has had doubts. Kevin Iro, Sean Edwards and Adrian Shelford. But they've all been past fit late last night. And I'm sure many Wigan fans will be especially glad to see Andy Gregory restored to the scrum half spot after refusing to sit on the subs bench in the previous round at Bradford. He'll certainly be needed in midfield today. And one of the young, up-and-coming referees from Widnes, Mr David Carter. And doesn't he just look cold in those short shots? Very cold out there, a layer of two or three inches of snow. But, of course, rugby league players are accustomed to playing on snow. It's only dangerous when you get the hard ground to the ice. So, the third round of the Silk Cup Challenge Cup. And Oldham very much the outsiders in red and white. And Wigan, unusual for them. We normally expect to see them in the traditional cherry and white jerseys but as the away team changed to the blue and white still 20 minutes gone in this first half Oldham nil, Wigan nil and not really either side looking to score a try just that one penalty attempt from Joe Lydon Gregory oh that's a good little chip he's got the ball it's a chase Sean Edwards is after it, and it away. Oh, is Edwards slid over for the try? Yes, he is. It's a try. And sadly, I think for Oldham, Trevor Croston, who covered back so well there, dragged Sean Edwards over. But it is a try. If your momentum takes you over the line, it's four points. Well backed up there by Edwards. And oh, credit to the lad. He followed Andy Gregory's kick, and poor Trevor Croston carried him over. Yes, a superb break here by Andy Gregory. The right tactic, he kicks over the top, runs to the ball, he gets there first, another tap, and then he kicks it hard past the full-back. And the race is on now with Edwards looking a likely winner. But he kicks the ball short, and here rolled him very unlucky because the momentum of the dive took him over the line. Yes, I think uh, Sean Edwards will thank uh, Oldham second row Trevor Croston for that, didn't he? It was a good tackle, but he took him across, didn't he? So, just 21 minutes gone. Four points to nil for Wigan. Lydon looking to increase it to six. Not the easiest of kicks in these conditions. But he's got it. Touch judge the checks. Just to see if... The other one agrees with him, and certainly those Wigan fans agree. Six points to nil for Wigan. McAllister again, looks to kick. No, I don't think uh, he would have been advised by his coach to go from acting half-back there. He wanted coming out. Sullivan, that's a tricky one to Iroh. Has he got the bounce? No. I think uh, Iro had it. Yes. Touch judge the Mr. Beach signal that Tony Iro just had his hand on the ball. To share it. Invariably using the first two tackles of this. Sequence of six with these two prop forwards, Sherrod and Casey. Trevor Coston, another Wigan born lad, just 21 years of age. That's a good ball to Newton. Sullivan again to McAllister. A powerful lad, that's a good ball to Bates. 
just couldn't get away. The sixth tackle coming up. But Oldham making inroads here. McAllister again, he's a big lad. Oh, that's a good kick. And it's still play on. Yes, he's missed it. So six more tackles now. And the Oldham crowd getting behind them now. Bates. Having a good game this uh, scrum half, Peter. He's doing very well for the youngster. But Ben against Gregory too, right? yeah. That was a good tackle by Shelford. Little panic in the Wigan ranks here now. Oldham fans getting behind them now. That's a good ball. McAllister, is he in? Oh, good try. It was McAllister, the speed of the ball. Oldham fans delighted. And Paul Law, just after five minutes of play in the second half, edged in there, and the sheer delight on that young lad's face. And how much Oldham deserved that. That was a well-worked try. The forwards drove in in midfield. The big lads were there. And then it was the big, bulky shape of McAllister. But what a nice pass he put out there. Well taken try. And here, Oldham do very well, putting the pressure on the Wigan line. Big barges by the forwards. And watch out for McAllister's pass here, because it's an absolutely super pass. And Lord is flying on the touchline side. There goes the ball from McAllister and Lord, no one near him. So Hanley with the ball. Now Wigan got to reassert themselves. Oldham coming more and more into this game. Betts. And every time one of these blue and white shirts, one of these Wigan players has the ball, three or four of this Oldham team around, just looking at one, two, three Gregory oh that's a good ball absent well he's got support on his arm, what's he doing what's he kicked the ball for oh goodness gracious me and surely the lad knows what he's done he had Iro outside him Hanley was there he gets a... Well, that's good captaincy from Hanley. Good captaincy. Pats him on the back. But surely Steve Hampson should have passed the ball. Oldham, after all the pressure, it's on them. Gregory. To Iro. Hampson. To Shelford. Well, somehow, all well out by Shelford. Gregory, this is better, Wigan moving it wide to Hanley. Oh, but a good tackle. He spotted the danger. Kevin Meadows, well in there. Edwards to burn. Back to Edwards. Just nine minutes to go in this... Uh, Third round, the Silk Cup Challenge Cup, six points to four to Wigan. And I don't think anybody's going to leave this ground. Oh, beautiful break by Gregory. That's a good pass to Jed Byrne. But a good tackle. And Wigan certainly looking better, Peter, when they open it out wide, aren't they? They do. When they get set to move the ball wide, right, they find a little bit of space now. But nevertheless, Oldham's tackles are getting there. Sullivan, good ball to Platt. Players clutch into this ball for their life now. Nicky Kiss, well down on that. Gregory, good switch. Oh, that's a good pass to Edwards. A better one to Iro. This could be a try. Oh, superb play in midfield. It was the combined play between Gregory and Edwards. And Iro coming up there at full speed. And could be that try tech Wigan through to the semi-final. A lot of relief, certainly, in those Wigan fans' faces. Just seven minutes to go now. And the four points that Wigan were looking for. A little bit of magic here from Andy Gregory again. Switching play. And who's linking with him? The magic man again. 
Edwards and watch this flick over the top, Edwards to Iroh. Iroh could pass, there's no point, his momentum is going to take him over. And he drags out a fat tackle and scores easily in the corner. All well picked up by Gregory. To Tony Iroh. It's a kick, oh, it's obstruction there, certainly he was pulled down. <laughs> Play on, says Mr Carter. But a penalty. No problems about that. Tony Iroh was hauled down from behind. It's a penalty where the ball bounced. And there the ball goes to Tony Iroh. Makes a beautiful break. Kicks the ball on. And Kevin Meadows certainly decides that there's no chance there. Yes, Tony Iroh, the, whether he would have got to the line uh, is debatable. A lot of... Uh, Holden players racing back, but nevertheless interfered with. Just a minute remaining. 20 yards out to the left of the post. And it's there. And those two points surely now clear Wigan. 12 points to four. It's been hard earned. It's been a battle all the way. At one time, Oldham looked as if they just might be going in. Dangerous for Wigan. They'll not want to try here, the pride's at stake. Just short to six tackle. No, it'll be the handover. It'll be the handover. So it looks to me that Wigan gaining revenge for that shot first round cup exit of two years ago here at Watersheddings. Now, looking to be only 80 minutes away from a return to Wembley in a record 15th appearance. I don't think coach Graham Lowe will be too bothered which team his side meets in the cup draw on Tuesday morning after conditions like this. It's been a hard battle, it's been a hard-earned battle and all ready to both sides. They've tried to play rugby, they have produced some tries for us on a morass of a pitch, and one of the try scorers there, Kevin Iroh, very good game.